Hey Guitar Heroes, your Guitar Sage, and today we're going to learn Heaven Can Wait by We The Kings. I'm going to jump into it right away. I'm looking at my chart here on my computer monitor. That's going to guide me a little bit because I'm a guitar teacher. I don't remember, I don't memorize these hundreds of songs. I just don't. I learn them, I teach them, all's well with the world. So here we go. For those of you that need help, stick around. For those of you that can get it right away, I'm going to play each part of the song for you, like intro verse. Uh, in this case, we have an intro verse and chorus. There is no bridge. So really, there's like basically like two parts to the song. Uh, three parts. Okay, so here we go. It's going to go, intro is going to go something like this. back into the verse again. Okay, again, I don't know the lyrics. And half of the time, I don't even know the melody, all right? I'm teaching the chords. If you need help with the melody or the lyrics, go to yourmelodysage.com, which is one of my other channels, or yourlyricsage.com. I jest with you. I don't really have those channels. We're learning guitar here, okay? Um, <clears throat> okay, so let me talk about the chords for a minute. We'll talk about the rhythm a little bit later. The rhythm's not hard at all. Um, okay, so again, I'm looking at my chart here on my screen. It would be a lot easier if you're looking at the chart itself. So go to yourguitarsage.com. You can find out how to get that. These handwritten charts that I do for my own students, you can look at them and it will aid with the learning process. Also, I've got a great learning um, ebook there, electronic books, 10 bucks, totally worth your, your while. Um, here we go. Otherwise, drop these chords down. Um, the song's in four, so like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, you get it, okay? Um, that's the timing of the song. We'll talk about rhythm in a minute. Here are the chords. Um, intro. Four measures of G. Play your G however you want here. I play mine with my first finger up. Um, so four measures of G. Then it's going to go G, C, D, C, G, C, and then two measures of D. That's the intro. Verse is going to go um, C. That's my cat in the background there. Uh, C, D. B minor, we might talk about how to form that, an easy way to form that later. B minor, and then a split measure of E minor D, which means two beats per chord. So, E minor, D. Okay, again, C for a measure, D for a measure, D minor for a measure, D for two, D for two, C, D, D minor. last D out for two whole measures, okay? So that's the verse. Uh, we'll talk about the B minor in a minute. Uh, chorus is going to go G, E minor, C. See, kids, cats are hungry. Go buy an e-book so they can eat. It's very sad. So sad. Poor little buddy. I know. Kids will buy the e-book. Hold your belly. 
Okay, so uh, of course, G, E minor, C, D, G, E minor, C, D. There's a third line, G, E minor. So basically, one, one, two, and four lines are G, E minor, C, D. Third line is G, E minor, B minor, C. Get it? Got it? Good. All right. So this is what we got, construction of the song so far. Intro, verse, and chorus. We got intro, verse, and chorus again. I'm sorry. Scratch that. Intro, verse, and chorus. Verse and chorus. On to the next part of the song. The turnaround is... The same as the last two lines of the intro. So G, C, D, C, G, C, D, D. Okay, then, okay, here we got a little something funky here. The third chorus is kind of a, uh, it's a shortened chorus, so it's going to go G, One measure of G and three measures of D. You hold it out for three measures, and there's that big climactic buildup. Yeah. And then we're into the chorus again. The the uh, well, yeah, that other little part there was a chorus, but it's kind of a, a miniature chorus, if you will. Okay. So that's one, two, third chorus was kind of miniature, and then we got our. our uh, fourth chorus, which is full on, so uh, you know it. G, E minor, C, D, G, E minor, C, D, G, E minor, B minor, C, G, E minor, C, D. Get it? And then the outro is, is uh, G, C, D, C, G, C, D, C, and then end on that G. Okay. Um, and on this particular chart, I actually have the rhythm on it. I've had a lot of requests for me to start doing that, so I'll try to remember that. Um, okay, so the rhythm is one, two, and, and four, and. I'll explain that in a minute. For those of you that are used to the down, up bit, then it would be down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so I'm going to play it really slow and then show you how it sounds in the song. Okay, so it's going to go down, down, up, up, down, up. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Here's the deal. Any rhythm that you have a problem with, or any song for that matter, break it down like that. It's impossible not to succeed. It's impossible. You just got to break it down to its bits and pieces. If you can do this slowly with me, down, down, up, up, down, up, then it's just a matter of time and practice before you get the whole song with the chords and everything. Okay? It can be done. All right, so there's your rhythm. Here's what it would sound like with a chord. And slowly, and I'll speed it up and then put it into the song. So, um, See, it's easy. Yay! Everybody's happy, right? We're playing the song. Okay, um, that's it, guys. That's it on this tune. If you haven't already, go to yourguitarstage.com and hit subscribe. Go get the ebook if you haven't. And um, by all means, gosh, crying cats here, they're hungry.
get the ebook, kids. And um, keep practicing. Make your mama proud. See ya.